Middlesex claimed victory by one wicket over Warwickshire in a thriller at Edgbaston. Middlesex began day four on 36 for two, requiring a further 197 for victory. Milan and Compton were the not-out batsmen and Milan had added 13 to his overnight score before he was dismissed, Barker trapping him in front for 32. Sterling and Compton then put on 25 for the fourth wicket before Panayi struck, Sterling out for 15, Middlesex four down with 155 still required. Simpson joined Compton in the middle and the pair began to frustrate Warwickshire as they chipped away at the target. The pair put on 43 together as the runs required approached 100. However, just as the game was starting to slip away, Warwickshire had a breakthrough. Patel deceiving Compton in flight, the opener out for 49. Simpson and new partner Higgins then saw Middlesex through to lunch without further loss. The visitors five down at the break with 94 needed for victory. The pair took advantage of some loose Warwickshire bowling after the interval to further reduce the runs required. 63 were needed when the hosts claimed their sixth wicket. Simpson, the man to go, caught Porterfield, bowled Clark for 40. New man Harris dug in alongside Higgins as the runs needed dipped below 50. Rankin then gave his side a lifeline when he removed Harris for 14. Rayner came out playing positively. But when Patel claimed the big wicket of Higgins for 45, it was very much game on. Middlesex 8 down and still requiring 24 to win. Rayner and Helm then looked like steering their side to victory. But Warwickshire weren't yet finished. Rankin trapping Rayner for 15 to set up a thrilling finale. Middlesex needing 7 runs, Warwickshire needing 1 wicket. There were some nerve-wracking moments for Middlesex as they clawed their way towards the finish line. But with three to win, Murta held his nerve, slicing Rankin through the covers to run three and win the match. Jubilation for Middlesex, but a cruel ending for Warwickshire, who came so close to registering their first win of the season. Stevie Eskenazi and Tom Helm were the key men for the visitors, with Eskenazi's 179 on day two, keeping his side in the contest, and Helm's 5 for 59 in the second innings, helping set up a gettable run chase. Warwickshire are still winless in Division 1 and take just six points to remain rooted to the bottom of the table. Middlesex claim 22 points and climb one place to fifth.